On today's BFD, we're exploring 3D printing, an amazing new technology that's already changing the world. So come on, let's see what we can make. So here we are at the Build Shop in Los Angeles, which is sort of at the frontier of this whole 3D printing movement. And we're gonna talk to the sheriff of this here county, Brian Jaycox. Brian, thanks so much for having us. How are you? I'm doing well. What exactly is the Build Shop? The Build Shop is what's known as a hacker space or a maker space. Essentially what we do is we take these uh, high-tech fabrication tools like laser cutters, 3D printers, and we put them in the hands of everyday people. So what exactly is 3D printing? Because a lot of people out there have probably never heard of it. Essentially the dream of 3D printing is the Star Trek replicator. Being able to take a file that only exists inside the computer and fabricate it into something real. You can print pretty much any shape imaginable. Even though it ends up as a 3D model, it's not actually printing in that way. The way that it's printing is actually in 2D, just like your home printer. So it essentially builds up the 3D model uh, one layer at a time. It's most likely that these 3D printers are gonna start to be introduced at the point of sale. Imagine you walk into an auto parts store, and instead of seeing wall after wall after wall of parts, um, you just see one thing, this nice, sleek 3D printer. Now, they just have a giant database of parts, and they print it for you direct right there at the store. When do you think this technology is going to be more available to consumers, or the price point's going to drop to the point where everybody can have one of these? Part of the reason this is being called the 3D printer revolution mm -hmm. is because um, we're starting to get to that point where 3D printers are becoming um, an affordable thing for home consumers. Typical mode of thinking is, oh, well, I'll just run out to the store and buy it. We don't think from a perspective of, I'm going to build this myself and I'm going to make this object that I'm thinking of. And oftentimes that'll be both cheaper and faster for the person making the part. So it could potentially decrease the carbon footprint. Absolutely. You don't need to consume that energy to transport them around and fabricate them at a different location. And you don't have as much waste either. The next logical step uh, following that is actually not even having to run out to the retail store anymore. I'm just getting one of these machines in your home and download the parts directly to your home, print them out for you right in your living room. Uh, I read out there that you can actually 3D print a gun. Is that true? And if so, what does it mean for the future of 3D printing? The thing that I usually answer with is, uh, well, there are a lot of easier ways to produce a gun. You have to sort of balance the pros and cons. Any technology that exists out there has, you can, you can build some nasty stuff with it, uh, but that doesn't mean that the technology itself is evil. All right, brass tacks, is 3D printing a good thing or a bad thing? I think I know what you're gonna say. A uh, good thing. All right, there you have it. Thanks so much for your time, man, really appreciate it. Absolutely. So seeing all the cool things that 3D printing does right now, it's not hard to imagine where it might be in 10 or 15 years. Are we gonna be printing our own car parts or our own body parts even? Who knows? What do you think? Is 3D printing going to be a technological advancement that changes the world? Leave your comments in the section below. For BFD, I'm David Park. Don't forget to subscribe.